It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Friday the 27th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather uh, brighter this afternoon will be dry tomorrow, but wet weather returns maybe as early as Sunday and next week maybe some storms along the way and some interesting forecast challenges as well. So let's go in there and take a look at things. First off, some sky cam shots. That's our Hamilton High School sky cam in Marion County. That football field was totally snow covered yesterday, but you can see the snow melt is really increasing today with the late February sunshine, but still a lot of snow in the uh, more shady areas. That's our Decatur sky cam. Again, a lot of snow down there in uh, grassy areas, but it's melting pretty fast. And let's think of warmer days. What do you say? Ooh, that looks good. Alabama's Gulf Coast there is seen from the top of the Phoenix All Suites down in Gulf Shores. Before you know it, the spring break guys will be down there. It's about that time of the year. Big broad trough over the United States, say a wave producing some havoc over Texas and Oklahoma today, but we are in good shape. It's colder today, only freezing at Decatur. They're at 32, Coleman 34, Birmingham at 42. But next week, we could very well be seeing highs around 70 by Tuesday with a big warm up in the days ahead. Cold air digging down into Texas. I think it's been a big mess out there in parts of uh, Dallas-Fort Worth today. By the way, wanted to show you this. This is the uh, visible satellite view, and yeah, that's the snow cover hanging tough over North Alabama. Uh, of course, we really couldn't see it uh, you know, yesterday because of the clouds, but pretty impressive when you can see a snow cover from 22,500 miles in space. Winter weather advisories for parts of Texas and Oklahoma, including Dallas-Fort Worth and Oklahoma City. They got some major traffic headaches in Dallas-Fort Worth this afternoon with snow falling. Only about two inches, but it's creating a lot of havoc there. Rain for the next seven days. This is valid through next Friday evening. Rain amounts of at least two to three inches around here, with lighter amounts down to the south. All right, model fans, the GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars. You can see how the troughing is shifting back to the western states. Our heights are rising, and that means the weather should be warmer. Uh, we start the day in the upper 20s tomorrow morning, the high in the low to mid 50s with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Sunday, moisture begins to return. Uh, we could catch a little scattered light rain, but probably not much. I get the idea much of the day will be dry. And again, we note the cold air damming. Uh, with colder air draining down from that uh, looks like a 1037 millibar high on the Jersey Shore. Uh, some freezing rains possibly setting up for the Carolinas on Sunday. And again, it could be a case where somebody near the Georgia border could see a high of 48 and somebody near the Mississippi border could see a high close to 60. Uh, we'll say low 50s for uh, Birmingham, the middle of the state, the I-65 corridor. will tweak that forecast as need be. But again, I, I don't think it rains a lot. Now, Monday, there's a cold front just north of the state, uh, cold air mass sitting over Illinois. And with that in place, we certainly expect occasional showers, maybe some thunder. We should reach the low 60s. This is Tuesday, and this is the day where we might make 70 or low 70s. And we got a very deep surface low uh, located near Kansas City, under 1,000 millibars. And... Uh, the question is, can we have any severe weather with this? Well, the better support is obviously north and west of the state. Here's a look at the instability uh, at noon on Tuesday, and you can see really we don't have any unstable air here. The, the surface-based instability is well to the west, so this is suggesting severe weather possibilities are rather limited on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, here comes more mischief. At midday, colder air begins to blow in here. It's going to be much colder. Uh, temperatures on Wednesday will be falling more than likely and you can see a potential for some changeover to a wintry mix over the Tennessee Valley at midday midnight Wednesday night 12 a.m. Thursday a nasty looking wintry mix and if this indeed verifies that's uh, that would be enough to foul things up for uh, Thursday morning of next week and then Thursday at noon we've got uh, a wintry mix all the way down to Mobile and Montgomery and Auburn Opelika so there's been very good consistency in the idea of a much colder air mass dropping in for uh, those two days on, on Wednesday and Thursday. And again, uh, this is suggesting potential for some winter weather problems uh, late Wednesday, Wednesday night, or early Thursday morning. We'll fine-tune this as we get closer. There is no way anybody can be specific now. And Friday, a week from today, it's uh, just cool and dry. We get back up toward 50 if this is right. And the nice thing about early March, cold snaps don't last long. Into the forecast, this is Monday, March 9th. 
Still got broad troughing in the east, ridging in the west. That just looks cool and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video by Monday morning at 7. My next video uh, tomorrow and Sunday. The man that looks like Colonel Sanders. Brian Peters will have the updates uh, on video. Uh, if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.